Hi guys, so thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you would like to support this channel, there's a tip jar in the form of a link to PayPal in my description box. And even small donations are welcome, so I really appreciate that. I wanted to say um, today, the canvas I'm using is a Master's Touch Grandeur Collection. It's really an amazing canvas, you guys. I got it at Hobby Lobby, and it has beautiful high sides. See those sides and hardwoods? I wanna say thanks to Salvador Brand Paints who sent me this paint set. And you can see all the stuff right there that comes with it, it's a set of acrylic paints, those pretty brushes, a palette, um, a palette knife, and a little foam sponge and then all these tubes of paints. Now I've never tried these before. This is this was my first time. And I did mix them with some other colors, but honestly, the ones that I used for this painting were most of the reds. And yeah, they're pretty creamy. I used like um, a whole tube of each tube, the 0.4 ounce tube her um, color so I used three of their colors in this painting this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas that I used and I'm going to show you the colors that I used and the way I layered my cup now that's the 24 karat deco art gold mixed with Floetrol uh, 50 50 and then I used the pyrrole red and that was the one from salvador paints also mixed with floetrol this one was the carmine red and i decided to add a little bit of the love struck primary elements to it so it gave it kind of an extra sheen if you will and this is the vermilion which is kind of an orange red mixed with floetrol 50 50. some I, I may have added water to a few of them. Uh, Hands of Yellow by Golden. I, I mix that with Oetrol because I've been mixing my fluids with Oetrol. My Floetrol is still really thin for my fluids. And again, the 24 karat gold. And then what I did was just repeat. I repeat that same layering, the same colors, and just did the whole thing once over again. Now you can see I'm layering them all kind of down one side, creating rings, but because I'm doing a dirty pour, it's not going to set, the colors won't be separate like rings. So I'm basically layering from dark to light. And then I take black and I just put that in a single layer over the top of the other colors. And that's the just regular old black paint mixed with Floetrol and then I took some of the tiger's eye pigment mixed with the 24 karat gold and then I put a little dollop of the satin enamel white and that's all for my colors you guys so this is a straight dirty pour you can see initially it's kind of nerve-wracking because it looks like the black is going to take over everything and that is one of the risks you take I guess when you use black and I only used one layer at the very top you saw that but my hope is that some of the other colors will rise up as the black falls down um, I also decided to torch some of the bubbles um, it's weird, like one of the Salvador colors made a lot of foamy bubbles when I stirred it, but the other two didn't. So I'm not sure why that happened, but you don't see me torch an awful lot, but I really had a lot of bubbles in this one and I wanted to get that air out. So the next thing is a ring of the DecoArt 24 karat gold. And I put just a ring all the way around the first pore. Just encircling the pore like that. 
And then this is the 24 karat gold mixed with the tiger's eye pigment. The tiger eye pigment is from uh, Leslie Onstead's Color Art Bling It line. And I really love that one. It's one of my favorites. And then I have this gold. This is the Iridescent Gold by Golden Fluid. That's my favorite gold. It's mixed with Oetrol and a little bit of water. And honestly, I, could, I would use it all the time if I could, but it's kind of expensive. So I decided to make a second cup for the middle because it is looking a little murky. And so you can see the colors I added there. And then I just pour straight into the center. This is just another straight pour. But you see, I put at the very bottom of my cup satin enamel white, hands of yellow, and some of that vermilion orange color. And some red too, I believe. So the reason I did that is I wanted to make sure that some uh, white, lighter colors, some brighter colors came out in the center of the pore. So a lot of the dark colors were on the outside. Now, here's what you do. You roll your paints over the metallic golds. And that rolling effect is what creates those beautiful gold pearl cells. So you have to really take the excess paint off the canvas. That's the key to the success of the pearl cells. Actually, there's two keys. One key is that the golds are a little heavier mixed, so they're real, a little thicker, and the other paints are a tiny bit thinner. And then you have to make sure that you get all the extra paint off of the canvas that you can possibly get so that the gold will pop through. And that's the key to getting those pretty pearl cells. The other key is to stop tilting at some point. <laughs> Otherwise you distort the cells. So you have to get it off and then make a decision that enough is off, especially when you see the first hint of it and then let go. And let it settle down. Those pearl cells will get beautiful and round. And then I took my airbrush here. Now I just couldn't get enough paint all the way to the edge of the canvas. So I just wanted to create a little interest. And that actually turns out really pretty because it will also kind of sell up too. Now this is my isolated reverse dip. So I tore a piece of plastic, the shape that I wanted for the canvas, and pressed it straight down, lightly making sure that the plastic was touching the paint and there wasn't any big air bubbles. That was my main concern. I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm very lightly tapping, you can see. And people like Fiona, Fiona's art, who does a lot of the flower dips, you can see. She's also very gentle with her tapping. And that's kind of what I'm doing too. Just making sure there's no air pockets in there. So the next thing is, I wanna zoom in so you guys can really see what happens here. And um, I wanna lift this up in a certain way. So I wanna make sure that it's all kind of moving in a one direction. So I gather up the plastic wrap and you can see there's all the gold hiding underneath there. And then I kind of give it a little twirl, like a pasta sort of twirl. You know how you're twirling pasta? I just want it to look really pretty at the end. 
So that was my plan. I've never done this before. Um, this was actually the painting I did before the earth painting. So this was actually the first time I ever, ever did one of these big canvases. And you can see I'm just isolating and using um, little pieces of plastic to create the effect. And now, so I wanted to take some um, lines and define some of those areas. It doesn't look like much on camera, but it really did make a difference. I finally started adding some black paint. I really, now you see I'm finding the paint that's black anyway, and I'm enhancing those areas just to bring some depth. I wanna draw the eye to that location on the canvas because I love the composition and I want to, of that swirl and I really wanna emphasize it. So the black helps do that just draws your eye there and look at all the beautiful pearl cells that have developed on that top left corner oh my gosh so pretty you guys I kind of was blown away when I saw what was happening with this and I just wanted to let it be I just didn't want to do too much more to it so I decided to take some pictures I'll share with you those pictures here like this. Isn't that pretty? Now I asked you guys to name this on Facebook and there's so many names that I got totally overwhelmed. I don't even know what to name this one. Here it is dried. It dried almost perfectly. Look at that. so in love with this painting you guys seriously thanks so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this i will see you next time and please like comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you know when i'm uploading videos finally follow me on social media instagram facebook pinterest i'm on heather mater art at all of those social media sites and again, thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day.